Okay, the purpose of this video is to show the difference in performance between a Waterhog bi-level entrance mat and a traditional entrance mat. So as you can see by the samples I have in my hand, the Waterhog bi-level mat has an upper level and a lower level. So the upper level will wipe and scrape the footwear uh, of dirt and water, uh, which will then fall into the lower level where it's stored to stop it being tracked off further into the building. You should also be able to see uh, the rubber nubs. So the rubber goes directly up into the mats, which gives it the, the bi-level um, properties. So the traditional entrance mats, uh, this is actually a nylon on rubber mat. As you can see, it's just a single level. And uh, what you'll see is that the dirt and the water just stay on top of the mat so that they can be tracked into the building. So if we start off, uh, what I'm gonna do now is a demonstration with uh, water and also um, salt, which is to represent dirt. And I'll start off by showing how the two mats react with uh, the water and the dirt. So if I pour equal amounts of water onto both mats, so first of all, this is going onto the traditional uh, entrance mats and pour the same amount of water onto the bi-level water classic mats. I mean, hopefully what you can see straight away is that the bi-level mat, the water has actually gone to the bottom of the mat, whereas the traditional mat is actually sitting on top. So one way we can actually simulate people walking over these mats is by uh, using what we call a slap test. So I'm going to slap the mat. And what you can probably see there is that uh, the water is actually splashing. So it's not actually being held within the mat. If we then move on to the bi-level mat, if I do the same thing, as you can see, there's very minimal amounts of splashing. And what that shows is that the bi-level mat is holding onto the water and stopping it being tracked further into the building. Whereas on the traditional mat, uh, it's not holding onto the water, which means at the end of the mat, you'll probably see that your floors are getting wet and potentially slippery. Okay, so now to move on to the the dirt test, uh, as I say, represented by salt. So I'll pour equal amounts of salt onto both mats. So first of all, this is onto the traditional entrance mat. And I'll do the same onto the water bi-level mat. And again, it should be quite obvious what's happening here, that the salt is actually filtering down to the lower level. So that means that it won't be tracked off again. Whereas on the traditional mat, it's actually sitting on top of the mat. So it's then able to be tracked off. Now if I just uh, do a rub test, so if I'm rubbing that, you can probably see there's uh, bits of salt which are flicking around, which obviously suggests that it's not actually holding onto the salt. If I do the same on the water hog bi-level mat, I mean, there's next to no salt being flicked around at all because the salt's actually being held in the lower level of the mat. So again, what this is simulating is people walking over the mat, bringing dirt onto the mats. Uh, the water hog bi-level mat holds onto the dirt to stop it being tracked off, off the mat and into the building. Whereas the single layer mats, the traditional mat, uh, the dirt actually sits atop of the mat where it can be trod into and tracked into the building, which of course will lead to uh, dirty floors at the end of the mat. Okay, so hopefully, by showing you the, the dirt and the water test on both styles of mats, you can actually see which type of entrance mat performs the best and which is the best that you should actually choose.